Hello everyone. I'm going to try and make multiple masks from the filtrate MERV 13 20 by 20 home filter. The materials required are going to be a tool to remove the casing and also we need a twist ties for the mask. Another tool that might be useful is a hot glue gun and also some elastic bands. So we will remove the casing and the wires and have the filter material which is actually pleated as you can see and this will have to be cut to size for multiple masks. The orientation of the filter will be as is in the commercially available masks. And this will need to be cut quite clean so that there are no frayed edges. So right now I'm trying to figure out where to put the marks on this filter and we will be able to do multiple masks through this. The material for the filter is impervious to the water. It is made out of non-toxic and safe plastic fibers. So right now I'm going to pick up the mask which I have a spare one and place it on top of the filter so that the orientation of the pleats is in the same direction as the masks. And um, I'm going to mark the width of the filter and also the depth of the filter. And once the marks have been made, then the filter can be cut in both directions. I'm counting the pleats because it requires about three pleats horizontally and the width of the pleated material will accommodate three masks and once it is marked it needs to be cut along the pleats as well as in the opposite direction as you can see there are possibility of three masks uh, along the width of the pleated material so the next step would be to cut the material in the form of masks preferably with a paper cutting board if you have one if you do not then you can use plain scissors as you can see I've got the cutting board and I'm cutting the material along its length and also making sure that the width of the mask is where it has been marked. We need to make sure that it is uniformly cut and it is also nice and sharp. Once you have the length of the material, then you need to cut it into pieces 
um, using at least three pleats and cutting it in the trough so this way you will have uniform size for all the mask material so that is just one batch and like that I've got two more strips of the same width which have to be cut into multiple pieces in the end I will have at least about 60 pieces and a few had to be used for trial to just make sure that we get it right these pieces will have to be punched with a hole puncher in appropriate places it is important to thread the elastic band through those holes properly so that it provides a good fit around the nose and mouth there is one more thing that this MERV 13 filter paper used in the house furnace filters is breathable it is impervious to water and also the plastic fibers that are used in these filters will also trap viruses this way we will be able to make multiple masks from just one filter of this size these filters are available in different sizes and you can certainly measure to see how you can use the filter paper in them most effectively so I would recommend that we use this in view of the current shortage of masks this is going to be useful for self protection and also hopefully will substitute surgical masks and if there are any face shields available they could be used to reinforce the protection as well I would urge anyone who is watching the video and taking the instructions we could be contributing to the health crisis that we are undergoing at present. Thank you.